back now on Try Today, and I'm always glad to have uh, our good folks from Goodwill to stop by and let us know what's going on, especially because we're going to be sort of discussing trends in the job market and other things. Uh, Lori Bates, our director, let's meet these two lovely ladies. Uh, the first one on my immediate right has been here many times before. We're always glad to have her back. Tempe Albright is manager of skills training and job development for Goodwill Industries in Northwest North Carolina. And seated next to her, Patty Stanford is manager of the regional career connections uh, for Goodwill Industries. And we're going to find out more about that. Good to see you, ladies. Thank you. Um, I guess let me go to Patty first and, and just say, what are Goodwill's Career Connection Centers all about? Our Career Connection Centers are here to help people find jobs. It's, we're also here to help employers find people for their jobs. So we offer free services for the... Um, I was getting ready to say, what do you offer? I mean, what would be an example of something you offer if I'm a job seeker? We can help you with assessments to figure out what your, where your interests are, where your strengths are. And once we know that, we can help you know what jobs are available for that, what kind of education you may need. So they don't have unreal, I mean, you don't want them to have unrealistic goals. And they say, okay, well, here's what I, I think I'm good at, here's what I want to do. And then you can try to match them up with something that, to find out how much extra training they might need or what? Yes, we, we try to do that. If they need an immediate job, we'll help them with the online applications, resume preparation mock interviews, and we do hold job fairs too. It's amazing how many folks you know, have been out of the job market or not had to work or change jobs, and, and you sort of forget how to do resumes and stuff. So, yes, yeah. and it changes a lot too. You mentioned, I didn't mean to skip over what you said a minute ago, uh, Patty, about uh, helping employers. What kind of things do you help employers with? We partner with employers to uh, let them post any openings they have in our centers. And we also have hiring events for them and let them participate in job fairs. If they want us to go deeper, we can actually pre-screen the candidates. Well, I didn't know that. And to recommend people to them, yes. Well, now, how have the uh, requirements from employers changed over the last couple of years, or have they? They have. Um, actually, it's probably getting a little bit tougher. They, just about every job out there now requires some kind of computer literacy, and the minimum education requirement for most positions is at least a high school education. It's preferable really if you have a certificate in some s special skill too. And that's one reason we had the Access Center is because we did research and found out that in order to get jobs in the community you needed to have that high school diploma plus some skills training. Yeah. So the, the Access Center a absolutely. I mean, what, what kind of expectations should people have? I mean, they, you know, Tempe, this is, I mean, can anybody take advantage of these kind of services that Patty was talking about? Yes. Any and age or? Well, um, working age. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we deal with the uh, adults. We do have youth programs at Goodwill, but uh, Patty and I are dealing with those that are 18 and older. and. Um, and we go quite a bit older. I want to, uh, and this is sort of, I'm, I'm sort of like tossing a, you know, a, a question at Tempe that, that I think I know the answer to, but we should all help what you do and what Patty does, and, and we can do that simply by making donations, right? Tell me how the, what the connection is there. Yes, um, we definitely need donations because 90% um, of the donation goes directly to the mission, which Absolutely. is the mission is training. And uh, I tell people, I got a lot of new training programs sure. that in mind. I need money yeah. to get them going. So you can certainly write a check and donate. But the other thing too is, and this is very simple, you know, you can donate goods to, to Goodwill. And a lot of those things end up in the Goodwill retail store. People go in and buy them. And then that money is used to funnel back to what you and Patty are doing to help make these go, right? Correct. So right. it doesn't take that much effort. Just a lot of people will still throw away old items instead of donating them. So we want to make sure that that changes. Um, one thing I want people to, uh, if you want to learn more about what Patty and Tempe were talking about, you can go to goodwillconnections.org. That's a specific website. There's a general website but that takes you in there. And the number is 724-3621 to find out more information about this. I, I just think it's uh, great what, what you folks are doing to, to help people get back to work and get matched up with the jobs that they'll be good at. And Thank I appreciate you. it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Keep me posted on what's going on. We will. We'll be right back after this. <laughs>